Okay, here are two more examples, and both of these involve simplifying expressions that involve complex numbers and that also involve fractions. And expressions similar to these often show up as solutions to quadratic equations. So when you're solving a quadratic equation, you often get an answer that looks like this, and you need to be able to simplify it. Okay, the first one, 4 plus the square root of negative 8 over 4. Now when you simplify this, do not just cancel those 4's. Just doing that, that would be an error. If this were 4 times the square root of negative 8, then you could cancel those 4's, but those 4's do not cancel. Here's how you need to simplify this. Let's rewrite this as 4 plus, and this square root of negative 8, I'm going to think of it as negative 1 times 4 times 2. And what I've done, I've found factors of 8 or a factor of 8 right there that is a perfect square. And let's see, this 4 down here is still here. And again, don't cancel those 4's. Now the numerator is 4 plus, and let's write this square root of negative 1, that's an i, and this square root of 4 is 2. So I have i times 2, which I'll write as 2i, and then this 2, uh, nothing can be done with this 2, it remains under the radical and all of that is over 4. Now I notice that there's a 4 here, and a 2 here, and a 4 here, and all of those have 2 as a factor. So let's factor out the 2, and you might be able to do this in your head, but I'll show you the step here. 2 times 2 plus i root 2, all of that over 4. And you can see if we distributed this 2 right here, we'd have 2 times 2 would give us this 4, and 2 times i root 2 would give us this 2i root 2. And now we can simplify this 2 and this 4, because this 2 right here, this 2 is a factor of the numerator. And you can't simplify terms of the numerator with the denominator, but you can simplify factors. So this 2 just becomes a 1 and reduces that to a 2. And so we end up with, for the final answer, 2 plus i root 2 over 2. Now, this is done. We're done. We can't cancel these 2's. We can't simplify that. And we can't simplify this 2 with this one. This is in simplified form. And we're finished. OK, this one over here, 12 minus the square root of negative 45 over 3. OK, 45, well, there's a negative there, so we're going to have an i in it. And 45, you can factor that as 9 times 5. Uh, it would also factor as 15 times 3, but we're looking for factors that are perfect squares. So we're going to go with the 9 times 5. So let's rewrite our expression as 12 minus the square root of negative 1 times 9 times 5 all over 3. Okay, now let's take the negative 1 out from under the radical, it will become an i, and the 9 out from under the radical will be a 3. So we have 12 minus 3i root 5. The square root of 5 stays there all over 3. And now I notice this 3 here, and this 3 here, and this 12. All of those have 3 as a factor. I can't just cancel this 3 with this 3 up here. And I can't reduce this 12 and this 3 right here. But what I can do is factor out a 3 in the numerator. I'll write the numerator as 3 times 4 minus i root 5 over 3. And now these 3's will cancel there and there. I can cancel a factor of the numerator with this denominator, but not a term or a piece of a term. And so I end up with 4 minus i root 5 for the answer.